we did last week. So we can't really say Thursday to Thursday anymore. It's Friday to Wednesday. <laughs> it's whenever we get to it. That's <laughs> somewhere between Friday and Wednesday now. It's been a busy two weeks. Anyway, um, I'm Brooklyn Kaufman. I'm here with Fletcher, who's wearing sweatpants because sweats on podcast day is good luck. Basically. Is it? I wear sweat. Actually, last week, whenever I said that my sweatshirt was good luck, we got 27 views, and that was it. So <laughs> maybe I'll start dressing nice on podcast days. Cole is kind of grumpy because he got soaking wet this morning in the rain. That was fantastic. It was hilarious <laughs> passing him in the hallway because we really don't talk to each other that much. And so we just look at each other, but I couldn't help it, and I went, you're soaked. And he said, no way. Uh, we're also joined here with uh, Principal Gates as our guest host today. What's up guys, how are you doing? I really appreciate you calling me in uh, and taking me out of my extremely, extremely busy day uh, <laughs> to join you all. So I really appreciate that. Yeah, this, school's falling apart right now. Oh goodness, this is uh, running back where we cover Thursday to Thursday, but the past two weeks has been Friday to Wednesday. We like to talk about everything going on in Midlothian, but mostly sports, because that's what we like to do. Um, Pretty sure I heard that on the first podcast. <laughs> so I'm glad you guys haven't changed things up on me in the next three weeks. Um, so let's run it back to who we are. Uh, every week we like to do a few strange questions that I put on the script that Fletcher and Cole hate. <laughs> that you get off of a website That I get somewhere. off of this one website that's really bad. No, she comes up with these on her own. I did come up with the first one. Oh, like, that's weird. why it's not very good? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I feel like this has been done before. Eating crust on your sandwich. Pretty sure I've heard more than one comedy sketch uh, regarding this topic. But I think it's so Mr. Gates is coming for my with me. Sandwich. I'm just saying, like, uh, I'm pretty sure this is a bit. Uh, you know, crust on sandwich. It's kind of like the squeaky wheel on a on a shopping cart. <laughs> I think it's been done. But I think, you know, we haven't explored it. So, Brooklyn, what's your take? I like my weird food combination and nobody pass out. Is I dip my popcorn in liquid. What in liquid? like, like Sprite? water? Or Sprite? Sprite? Sprite. Anything carbonated. Does that make it carbonated popcorn? It just makes it soggy <laughs> popcorn. That's weird. Does it give it like a different taste or is it just like it's the just texture? A, it's, it's just it's the a texture. texture thing. It's really good. That's weird. And I mean, it adds to it. I don't know. It like elevates it. I would rather have crunchy popcorn. It's one of my deepest secrets and now I just announced Why it Why don't you just eat the popcorn then drink something? You don't have to dip it in the... No, because it's not as good. It's not the same effect. So you couldn't just put it in your mouth, take a drink, swirl yeah. it around, <laughs> but chew it's it not swallow... <laughs> I only do this in the privacy of my own home. I've never you done even it, do it at the anywhere movie theater? else. No, I'm too scared. <laughs> in the dark, in the corner of the movie theater, also, you, you see Brooklyn you know doing what? your popcorn. You know, first of all, I'm, I'm so glad that you've that you've you know ventured out and you've shared this experience because once the world really knows, I mean, I can see you at the next time you go to the movies, you just order a large popcorn and ask them to add Sprite. In the popcorn. Um, and you just put it under, you know, like the people that, you know, just douse it in butter. You just hold it under the Sprite and, uh, you know, add it to your popcorn. And, I'm soggy popcorn, honestly. girl. <laughs> I'm also a awesome. French fry and ice cream. Yeah, that's, that's pretty common. That's, yeah, that's Frosties at Wendy's, that's yeah. been a thing for... Oh, that's just too good. Yeah, anyway, since I was little. Anybody else have any weird food combinations they like? I used to eat green beans with ketchup. Every boy in Midlothian eats something weird with ketchup. Every single Well, because like, ketchup goes with everything, basically. I don't like ketchup. I mean, everything that's like a dinner food... We just really like to talk about right, food. Hold on. <laughs> Did anybody else catch that Cole just said he doesn't like ketchup? I mean, I'll, 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 it's just, that's not, that's I don't not think what that's I prefer. true. I prefer Chick-fil-A sauce. So. Like, yeah. You know, there's I a mean, difference in having a preference. Okay, But yeah. saying you don't like it, like, I'm pretty sure that's un-American. <laughs> I put my, my Chick-fil-A sauce in my nuggets, but then my ketchup on my french fries. Bro, you know what's good? Avocado lime ranch from Chick-fil-A. I've never heard of it. Dude, chicken like lime what? and avocado. avocado lime ranch. What? On it's just the like dressing, but you can ask <laughs> you for like it with your it chicken around? nuggets. I mean, I'll eat never it by it. itself. Like I'll just drink it. Have you ever seen the people that will get their chicken patty for their chicken sandwich and put it in the the package, but then they'll put the sauce 
into the package and seal it, and they'll shake it up, and it'll get the sauce, like, covered in the patty. We need to try that. Yeah. I saw... Uh, That's how you make hot wings. Yeah. yeah it's been, just, been done for years. But. They just, I know, but it's, like, the homemade version with the chicken. It's <laughs> just yeah. Yeah. We, we, we buy a uh, hot wing sauce, correct? And then you buy chicken. You cook it, or you buy cooked chicken. And you put it in a baggie with hot wing sauce, and you do that. I think that that's, <laughs> if that's not common, I'm like I've been living my life pretty strange for a long time. <laughs> Mr. My Gates. son's been doing that since he was probably five years old. <laughs> Mr. Gates is already out here, like just going at everybody. <laughs> well, I, I mean, it's pretty funny. It's it's really funny. Um, <laughs> I have a hard time leaving from my two bits. My first bit being that Fletcher's better than me. My second bit being. I like weird food things. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I talk about. And you cry? <laughs> oh, and my crying. <laughs> weird foods, you know, I think it's a really good topic just because everyone has something that they like that I think other people look at them extremely strangely. <laughs> and so I definitely think that that's... That's a good topic, though. It's, it's it's fun to talk about, and it's fun. You know, here's the thing. The people the reason why people think it's it's weird and think it's funny and it's easy to talk about is because it's unique to you, and it's not something, you know, when you like a weird food combination, it's not because you saw someone else doing it and you thought, oh, let me try that. <laughs> it generally, you know, starts from um, you being brave, and trying something that no one else will do. And so I think that's, you know, valiant. It's a good quality. Club crackers and jelly. That's another one of mine. That's good. Like, yeah, jelly. I will Not real get, strange, but that's a that's good combination. Good yeah. I get the glass, little glass bowl, and I put the jelly in it, and I just dip it, and I'll eat a whole sleeve. Oh, I got, I like the, with cream cheese, but that's, like, totally normal. Cream cheese? Cream cheese with yeah. the jelly on it, and then the, oh, oh. <gasps> This is so good. <laughs> I think my eyes just rolled in the back of my head. Yeah, cream cheese and jelly. Great combination, especially jalapeno jelly. Oh, stop. <laughs> With the club crackers. Those are good. It really yeah. is. I'm on a fast where I can't make trash right now, so I can't use anything that can't be recycled. And um, club crackers, the two they come in, can't be recycled. And I've been eating club crackers and cheese every single day for the past month and a half. That's not healthy. <laughs> and I'm basically, uh, I started crying last night because I really wanted Oreos. I haven't had Oreos That's in a long time. It's just really the fact pale. that I can't have them. Is that because of your diet? Are you, are you no, feeling I just, sick because no. of this? <laughs> have you seen the doctor? Like, well, I was, I'm just pale because nurse. I'm very pale. Do I need to get the nurse... I mean, I know it's winter and we're in sweat, so maybe that's that's part of the issue. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah. Mr. Gates is straight flaming us. It's fine. I'm not, <laughs> it's really. fine. I'll tell you what it is: is like, uh, you know, I, I get distracted on a daily basis by the things that I have to do that are in, actually the super important things, right? The things that keep us from uh, getting in trouble or you know, just, you know, keeping kids safe and things like that. And so having an opportunity to sit around and really just hang out is like never happens. And so, um, I will, I will admit when I was, when I grew up, I was quite the, um, center of attention. Um, <laughs> and so I apologize right now for pulling everything back to myself once again. And so I'll, I'll try to, tone it down a little bit but this is this is good and you guys and I'll tell you I've listened to every second of your podcast so far and so uh, you're doing an incredible job number one and uh, that's why you know I, I joked at the beginning saying that you guys asked me to be here but I really re made this request because uh, I wanted to hang out with you guys and talk about all of the fun things that are Midlothian High School uh, Thursday to Thursday, even though it's Wednesday, even though you did it Friday last week. <laughs> even though so, we're completely at work. And that's <laughs> great. I think that's the purpose. Um, Mr. Gates, we like to do this, or I like to do this thing, and they hate it, where we what describe thing? each other for the day. It's so weird. <laughs> How the other person is feeling, acting, the vibe, the you, look. Though. The whole shebang. It's just and we were, I was wondering, because I write the script, <laughs> if you would describe any of us in some sort of fashion. Okay. Ow. So I'm, I'm trying to make it quick, and are you okay? Yeah, I just hit my 
so, Brooklyn. Yes, there's blinds there. <laughs> and so my first description of Brooklyn would be, she, she looks very unaware today. <laughs> uh, unaware that she's at school and that this is a place of learned behavior. <laughs> However, um, she is having fun. Definitely looks like she's ready to hang out at the mall and maybe go buy a new outfit. Um, but no, I'm teasing. Brooklyn is Brooklyn. I mean, I think she's very similar to what I always see in the hallways, just relaxed and not too concerned about everything else going on. She's focused on what needs to be done and no different than today. Fletcher is, um, Fletcher is relaxed, and, <laughs> and he's, you know, Fletcher's just trying to have a good time and actually, you know, set a great example, and so I'm curious to, on Fletcher's, because every time I see him either when he's on the air or listen to the podcast, him in the hallway, Fletcher is like trying to set a great example for his family. Um, you know, he doesn't want to embarrass his mom or embarrass the school, but I'm curious, uh, what Fletcher's holding back. Cause there's gotta be something in there that he wants to talk about or discuss that he knows is probably not the most appropriate thing. And I'm really glad he doesn't do that. But I'm wondering when he leaves here and he's with friends by, you know, and they're just hanging out. I bet he's not quite the most reserved person that he is on, on radio. And then Cole, uh, is there- He's very gray today, uh, Cole. I mean, I'm not sure if you have any other colors in your outfit uh, that you could add to the wardrobe. But if your mom's listening, um, we need to get him a little color. He's uh, a little bland. <laughs> it's just the shirt. I mean, yeah, it's just the shirt. <laughs> your your shoes are gray. Your pants have gray. Your shirt's gray. You didn't get um, if we took a black and white picture, I mean, nothing would He change. talked about y'all's characters, and you just talked about my clothes. Well, but, uh, <laughs> you, know, you have great character as well, and that's the thing. You know, I can't. I, I don't want to say anything negative about Cole's character because I just don't know anything negative about it. So how's that? That's that's good. Yeah, right? that's good. That's, positive. Good. that's a good one. Cole, how long have you had braces? Uh, about two years since like the fall of eighth grade, I think. So that means two years. Is that pretty common? What's, what's an average time of braces? I'm just Probably curious. Probably two or three years. How long have you had yours? I had what mine you had yours? for three years, I think. It was oh, okay. seventh yeah. to ninth grade. Because I'm sure, like, how bad your teeth are are directly related to the length of time you have to have braces. Yeah. My teeth were not Unless the good. orthodontist is scamming you. And oh, yeah, orthodontist. Yeah, they like to. Yeah. I can't say anything bad about orthodontists. I only know one, and he was awful. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I'll describe Mr. Gates today. He's just straight chilling with his Valentine's Day mug. Um, ever seen a grown man walk in with a heart mug? <laughs> I haven't, and I'm a fan. Um, I'm going to make you feel bad because it's a gift for my daughter. I love it. Um, about nine years ago. She's a freshman now, so she actually got to this for me when she was in kindergarten. And so I've used it. I actually use it quite often, not because we're almost at Valentine's Day, uh, just because it's a good mug. <laughs> like I like the taller skinny mugs with a handle that's what I like and so per- definitely I uh, prefer this one it's my favorite oh but yeah he seems a lot more relaxed than you would usually take him and uh, I'll be the first to say that Mr. Gates is pretty cool well, you're not the you. first to say that. I'll be the first. Yeah. The first to say it today, huh? Have you said it, Fletcher? No, she's the first. Did actually. you say it, Fletcher? <laughs> uh, yeah. They've taken polls pretty much every year, and no one has ever said I was cool. <laughs> um, in fact, it's and, and like if my wife ever heard this, she'd be really upset at you guys because um, she gets really mad when people laugh at my poor behavior. <laughs> <laughs> and so, just hearing you guys laugh at the the things that I'm saying would not be. Uh, it would not make her happy because then it just reinforces it when I go home. <laughs> and so, that's awesome. Anyways, it's really not. It's not really very, oh, I love my wife. I try to keep her happy, and so you know, I pick up a lot of bad tendencies being around high school kids all day. <laughs> <laughs> well, since Mr. Gates is a dad, I was wondering if anybody mm-hmm. has any good dad jokes that they just want to throw out there. Good dad jokes. I have a really good one, but I don't want to make myself the center of attention right now. You definitely do. I, I do, but I have a really good one, so I want to save it for last. I don't have any dad jokes that I can think of. I am. If you told us this like yesterday. You seem, you well, seem it was like on a person the script that would have a good yesterday. dad joke. Yeah. You think I read the script before? Yeah, Cole and uh, Fletcher obviously Crazy. did not prepare. I read the script. I knew it was on the script. 
and well, so not, it's I honestly thought it was put on here for me. I was like, man, they've heard a rumor about me and my <laughs> awful jokes because um, if you asked any of your teachers, uh, they would tell you that I'm kind of known for telling the worst <laughs> awful jokes um, anytime I'm in a setting with them and no one else is around, and so it's pretty bad, honestly. It's just, <laughs> It's, I don't know any great jokes. I just know a lot of really bad jokes. What are some, what are some good bad jokes? Well, they're not good. That's the thing. They're well, they're good, I can't, bad I can't tell you a good bad joke. I can just tell you an awful joke um, nice. that is not good at all. Totally appropriate. Like There's nothing inappropriate about them. They're just not good. And so, I mean, like, uh, if you want to hear this, I'll try to make this one long because I'm also known for over explaining, Fletcher. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> I can take a short saying. story and make it into a novel really fast. And so, uh, I'll try to take a, a joke and I'll try to change it from novel to short story. I'll go backwards. So, uh, so there's this kid. He's probably Fletcher's age. He actually reminds me a lot of Fletcher. Um, lives in his parents' basement. He's about 19, 20 years old and really hadn't done much else with his life. And uh, plays a lot of video Fletcher. games. And, you know, and I just, when I picture this kid, I probably, you know, I think Fletcher, you know, hope, there's hope for you, but, you know, it could be someone <laughs> like Fletcher. And so parents are really upset because he's doing a lot of gaming downstairs. He hadn't, doesn't have a job. And they ask him, uh, well, you're going to have to at least get a pet, give you some responsibility, something to take care of. So he didn't want a cat, didn't want a dog, you know, way too friendly. He's going to have to take care of him, feed him too much. So he went to this, the, the pet store and he settled on a millipede. Okay. Yes. I've heard this before. And so settled on this middle millipede and, uh, you know, because he's like, yeah, I keep that in a cup, put some grass in there and I'm okay. <laughs> So one day he's downstairs, he's gaming, his parents yell at him, hey, you need to go go to lunch. Go to lunch, do something, get out of the house, and take that stupid millipede with you. So he's like, fine, whatever. So he yells at the millipede, millipede, we're leaving. Let's go. No answer, right? And it's a joke, guys. It's not your story. So, like, you know, we know the millipede in real life is not going to answer. But he yells again, millipede, did you hear me? I said, we're going to the store. We got to get some food. Still no answer. So he finally walks over to the cup and looks in and says, Milby, man, I'm leaving. Are you coming? He looks up at, it, at the kid, Fletcherish kid, says, um, I heard you first time, dude. I'm putting on my shoes. <laughs> that was such a long Do you get it? Yeah. Do you get it? Yeah. What's what's the joke, Fletcher? Because it's a millipede and he doesn't he can't talk. No. no. Is he a, what? <laughs> oh, he's, like got, he's got all the shit. How shoes. many feet <laughs> does a millipede have? See what I mean? See what I mean? I got that. This no. is like the one time where I said warning label and Fletcher thought I said morning label. And the morning. entire time he's like, me in the morning. And we were like, no, warning. Morning label. <laughs> well, do y'all want to hear mine? Yes. What do you call a chicken staring at lettuce? Chicken lettuce. I told you this joke before. There's no, you no haven't. Way. Chicken sees a salad. Chicken sees a salad. <laughs> That's a good one. Fletcher's laughing. Chicken you just can't yeah, it's it. a great dad joke. I've never heard a dad say it. <laughs> However, I'm going to trust you on this one. My sister actually told it to me. So, my dad was in the car, though. <laughs> Did your well, dad at least laugh at it? Yeah, he thought, we all think it's hilarious. You're the only one who didn't think it was that funny. Hilarious. <laughs> oh, oh, you scared me. Okay, uh, well, do you want to go into our next segment with your intro song, Fletcher? Talking about sports with Fletcher. We're looking in Coleman comments as well. Now with Mr. Gates. <laughs> I was not prepared for that. <laughs> Okay, well, let's run it back to basketball. Uh, well, we had Joshua on Tuesday, and uh, both boys and girls were able to take home Friday. wins. That Friday, that was Friday. Friday. <laughs> yesterday was Ennis. Because Man, yesterday Fletcher, was Ennis. Yeah. Friday was, oh <laughs> that was senior night for our girls, and that was also alumni night for sure. overall. For sure. <laughs> well, we had uh, girls took home a pretty big win, 55-36 to 36 against Joshua. That's their second win of... Um, of district, that's going to be their second time around playing Joshua, another win. And they had senior night as well, so they honored their seniors. I believe it was at halftime of the boys' game, so congratulations to our seniors. They have uh, upcoming playoff games. We don't, They haven't been set yet, but we'll be looking out for those, so be sure to be... Uh, and, oh, playoff shirts. They're selling uh, 
the girls' playoff shirts. I'm trying to retain all the information in my head that I know. But um, it's on Rally Sportswear. I believe there's a link on the Midlothian Girls Basketball Twitter. And it's only open today to buy a basketball playoff shirt. So be sure to go and get your basketball playoff shirt. Then we had the boys. Also, um, another big win, 49-30. to 30. They actually allowed no points in the second quarter to Joshua. So very good defensive game overall for the boys. Also, their second win against Joshua on the season. And... Um, they only have a couple more district games left, so uh, obviously the big one coming up, Red Oak, is Friday. Nope. nope. <laughs> Try again, Fletcher. Try Get again, Mr. Gaines. Wait. <laughs> Fridays at home versus Corsicana. So one more, it's Tuesday. Yeah, I think okay, that might be go. it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember how many more teams that we got to play. But uh, then we'll let Cole talk about Ennis because he was at Ennis and I was playing baseball. <laughs> yeah, that was. Uh... My first call for a radio thing. Whoop, whoop. Radio thing. Uh, it was Cole's joining really a good. team. Uh, I didn't. I didn't think I did that hot, but uh. I thought you did. did. I listened, Cole. Yeah. So. I didn't listen. I feel bad. I, I passed out. Wow, wow. you should I feel. Asleep, you really should feel bad. That hurts my feelings. That Cole means your Clinton. voice was so soothing that Brooke yeah. just fell asleep to it. Yeah. Uh, so the girls' basketball team had an absolutely dominating performance, seventy to twenty-nine. And one thing I really noticed about both the boys and the girls' team is that they both kept on the pressure the entire game. Yeah. It was very, very good. The boys, uh, they won 61-36. to 36, So they both did pr- pretty well. Yeah, that's a very good strategy. So it's like life in general, right? Whenever uh, you have to make decisions under pressure, your chances of making mistakes go up. <laughs> and so the, the goal of basketball, obviously, is to make people make decisions under pressure. And so they do an excellent job of that, both teams. So very good. Great observation. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Describe uh, your experience with Tater Beard, because I know he's listening to this. It was... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I want to say it's awkward, but I mean, like, Tater's a nice guy and everything. I just... I was so nervous about the entire experience. He knows that. <laughs> That's how I was. Yeah. Too. I felt like I only made, like, one or two good calls the entire night. He said I did fine. But... And you did it in a away game, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, harder. you did fine. I listened. And, I mean, uh, you made some... Uh, some good observations, mm-hmm. some that were extremely obvious and funny, and I kind of <laughs> laughed at. I'm trying to remember the one. It was right before halftime. And, oh, God. Um, Tater said something about um, doing – maybe we got fouled, and I think you, we were going free throw line, and you said something to the effect of um, – Hope we do well on this one or something. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. That's probably what I said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the expectation. And so, no, but it was real. I thought you did a really good job. Thanks. It's easy for someone to listen and pick on that. But mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you, I've done it and it was tough. Yeah. Tough. <laughs> like, this is more my setting, but, you know, trying to call a live game, things mm-hmm. like that. For even somebody that doesn't mind talking to people in public and in front of large crowds, that was more intimidating uh, for me than anything else I've probably done as far as, you know, public speaking. So I thought you did a really good job. Thanks. I think that, like, being on radio doesn't get enough credit. Like, you have to retain so much information. I know me, Cole, and Fletcher all, like, seriously relate, and I think Sydney, too. You know so much stuff that you just don't know what to do with it. Like, every announcement... The I, first. I feel like I'm gonna explode with facts about like Knife Madison on like every time. Like he has a se- he had a 17 point game on Friday. I wasn't even at the game. I didn't even listen to the game. I don't know how I know that. It's just insane. The first volleyball game I did, Mr. Gates was there, and I got there, and Tater was like, "You want to read what's going around on MHS?" I was like, "Yeah, sure. Where is it?" And he just gave me this giant thing of index cards. He's like, "What?" And it's like. I could barely read it, too, because it was Tater's handwriting. He knows he has chicken scratch because he's told me before. But I was kind of freaking out, and he was like, never mind. I'll do it real quick. He's like, okay. But that was that was fun. Yeah, that was. That was, good. That was the first time I'd done it, too. And so I was just trying to hang on for dear life. And <laughs> those guys that do it are, man, they're obviously professionals. And, you know, they're just good at what they do. It's not easy. Uh, let's run it back to soccer. We have no nils. No on this nils. past time that we're going to... Hmm, whoa, let me restart. We have no nils. <laughs> nil no nils. nils. <laughs> nil nils. Um, the boys on Friday went against Ennis 5-2. to two. The girls also took a win against Ennis 5-1. to one. And I don't have the girls' score for Tuesday. I'm sorry. I searched and I searched and I looked on Max Preps and it Did wasn't Did you look there. on the Twitter? No. 
course. That's, that's funny. funny. <laughs> that's funny. And uh, the boys tied Midlothian. Uh, whoa, the boys tied Corsicana two to two, and that was talking about sports and Fletcher. Brooklyn and Cole make comments as well. Hit us you me. didn't hit the last note. You said Brooklyn and Cole make comments as well. Yeah, that's what's mm-hmm. You gotta go. Well, well. There you go. Mr. Mr. Gates is Fletcher here added too. in. Mr. Gates is here too. <laughs> Mr. Gates is here too. We should put like a guitar riff or something over that. Ooh, I that's need to update on my idea, stormtrooper Cole. tattoo. Check it out. It's like <laughs> wow. It just it looks doesn't like even look gray. like a stormtrooper anymore. Well, it's, it's starting to look like you know when the Death Star gets blown up <laughs> and it's just fragments in space. <laughs> There, that's probably a better description of that tattoo than a Stormtrooper tattoo. <laughs> to see all the weekly updates on my Stormtrooper tattoo, follow us at runitback underscore pod on Instagram. Um, <laughs> the weekly Stormtrooper <laughs> I post something every week <laughs> about my Stormtrooper tattoo. What are you going to do when it's gone? Get another one? I don't know. <laughs> I, I kind of miss it, to be honest. Because like, when you're sad and you just look at your arm and there's a stormtrooper on your arm and you've never even seen Star Wars. Yeah, but you didn't And it's lasted for three Hold weeks. You, you just still can't have stop not, laughing. You have never seen any of the Star Wars? <laughs> no, I, I like how you laughed at that Death Star reference, it's, but you still don't. Yeah, you have no idea like, what I'm I've talking seen, about. <laughs> I've seen bits and pieces of like all bits of them, but I haven't, seen, I haven't enough. sat down and watched all of them. If you should sat down for ten straight hours and watch all of the movies, just like back to back to back. At least the original Ones. Yeah, I'm a little busy. I've been watching Raisin, Raisin Dion recently. Oh, that's Raisin why we're busy. Dion. Show. <laughs> it's a good show. <laughs> um, we had a pep rally. We did. I saw Fletcher at the pep rally. I was. I was jamming on Fletcher, the drums. What happened? What happened to the music? What, what happened? What? what? what oh happened to yeah. The music? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I felt bad. That was. It seemed like I felt bad too, but it was also hilarious, and I can't. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. She. Just, I think it was something with her iPad. Or something yeah. like that, because she had to pull out the laptop. It was just funny because when we thought we had it figured talking out. about in the pep rally. Yeah. Yes. You know, I got uh, this. I'll give you just a little insight into like just my life as a principal. And so, just a few minutes before the pep rally, I got asked to attend a meeting um, over just some renovations, things we're going to be doing this summer to to the building. And so, I actually had to miss the pep rally, which this happens quite often, you know, and it's it's because it's when other people are available and architects and designers and floor plan guys. I mean, we have so much going on in this district that I can't schedule that. They just have to let me know. And obviously I needed to be a part of it. Um, but the only thing I heard about the pep rally was um, your mom's music. Yeah. <laughs> I think they did it. There was like eight times in a row. Yeah. Where it was just like the first two notes of thunderstruck. Yeah. And then it just God, that's so off. frustrating everybody for your mom. Every time. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. so fun. We were just trying to make everybody feel better because I know that that's like probably embarrassing. It's the number one most there. frustrating thing for like cheer or yeah. dance yeah. sponsors, uh, drill team, anybody that's about to perform at a prep rally because you the, the crowd is ready and we're hyped and they're like, okay, we're going to perform. Yay. And then the music, and then you gotta do it again. And then music, and then you gotta do it again. And it's like not unique to us. It's yeah. every high school in the country. Yeah. And, can't do and it's so it. funny that it's still <laughs> happening. You know, this was when I was in high school. All this modern this was, Yes, and we still can't get the music to play at a pep rally. And so it's pretty funny, actually. It's yeah, just, they, you know, it's par for the course. They ended up taking a break, and she ran and got her laptop and brought it back down there and plugged it in. Yeah, it was... Yeah. Rough, they had like the people doing the sports doing the sports intros while the the panthers were still like standing there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they weren't cleared yet. Yeah, yeah. It's so funny because you know you're on a timeline and you're trying to get yeah. everything done, but like the pantherettes haven't read the timeline, mm-hmm. you know, so they're not, you know, they're yeah. it's a lot of girls and uh, you know they're ready and they want to, you know, you know everybody wants to be part of the pep rally and so very good. Mr. Gates, we were wondering what you think our the three of us, what you think our friendship is like outside of the podcast Wait, as a listener's friends? point of view. I don't know. Honestly, <laughs> I assume that you guys interact somehow, uh, whether it be electronically or actually maybe you, you do hang out. But after being part of it, hearing that Fletcher nor or Cole have not prepared um, <laughs> read your script, I'm assuming maybe that you try to get things organized and then they're they're kind of typical um, well I don't want to box us in as a gentleman um, <laughs> however it definitely sounds like you are take you're the role of the organizer and you know getting people in line and then these guys um, 
are zigzagging through life. <laughs> we had to, when we were first going to start the podcast, we had to, like, write that, um, like, present a presentation to Miss Fondren. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she, you asked me, was like, Fletcher, you want to be in a, uh, in a podcast with me? I was like, yeah. And you're like, okay. I was like, okay, just set it up and I'll start talking when we start recording. Yeah. See, so you, I was literally sitting there and you did everything. And then you're like, okay, Fletcher, let's go record. And I was like, okay. So I just started yeah, doing it. Yeah, that's how it is every week. But Cole really does help out, like, quite a bit. He always does write things on the script. If I tell him I'm writing the script, he'll check it out. And he made our logo, so... Fletcher just shows up for the photo shoots and the, uh, the photo shoots. The, the one, one photo, photo shoot we've done. The one photo shoot. We have to do another one because I'm running out of pictures. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we should do it with Mr. Gates. Oh my do goodness. what? <laughs> <laughs> photo shoot. If you want to see our pictures, follow us on Instagram at runitback underscore pod. Another plug. Another plug. <laughs> another one. Um, another fun. plug, another plug that I have. <laughs> oh boy. Is you definitely want to watch Panther News this week because me and Fletcher are making a comeback. I'm not in a... From what our two-week mean? break. Y'all haven't been on the last two yeah, weeks? Yeah, Sydney and Riley have been doing it the last I'm two teasing. weeks. I'm teasing. I've watched. I've watched. <laughs> I'm not going to be there, though. Ever, yeah, poor Cole. Where, where are you going to be, Cole? I'm going to do the directing stuff. Oh, so you're going to be here. You're just yeah. going to yeah. take I'm a different role. I'm not doing the camera. actual I'm important camera. Camera. <laughs> Well. So our... Every role is important. Is separated, but it's okay. I'm just why glad is, to be back on the news desk. Why is National Plum Pudding Day I on, was thinking that we could start a thing where I talk about what national day it is. And national then I looked it up and I was like, Pudding what's day? today? National Plum Pudding Day and it's also Abraham Lincoln's birthday. Which one of those is more important to you? <laughs> You put. I don't, know, plum I don't even know what a plum pudding is. So Abraham Lincoln. So I'm guessing a plum, made into pudding. Is that a Christmas it's carol? It's like a British. Yeah, dessert. yeah. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> I'll pass. Yeah. It's Abraham Lincoln's birthday, guys. It's really, it's really not. He's been passed away for a long time. <laughs> if he was, if he was 200 years old, it would be his birthday. Yes, it's his. <laughs> it's, it's, his it's his date. Of birth, not his day of birth. Okay. Well, no, nothing's happening today. <laughs> yeah, But it is his date of it's birth. It's a boring day in history. <laughs> it's that's, okay. That's, a, that's, that's another, like whenever I was, I taught math. So I taught geometry, which uh, part of geometry is logic. Mm-hmm. And so you got to teach some logic and reasoning. And so whenever I used to teach it, I tried to make that part fun. And so I'd have quizzes, uh, logic quizzes, you know, for kids so to fun. take. And it probably wasn't, you know, looking back on it, I'm like, gosh, this guy, he's so lame. Um, however, I enjoyed, uh, I probably got more enjoyment out just hearing what the kids would say Oh. in response to logic quizzes. And so that was always one of my questions on the logic quiz was like, how many birthdays does the average person have? And so Fletcher, how many birthdays does the average person have? Um... I would say 87. No, it's, you're totally off. Totally off? <laughs> yes. Not Above or close. below? Uh, it's way lower. Oh. <laughs> because the answer is one. Oh! Oh. You only have it's one tricked. birthday. Um, <laughs> Y'all, I'm uh, Again, it's logic, you know, and reasoning, and so you only have one birthday. Um, and then from after that, it's a celebration of that day, but you've only been born once. And so, uh, again, that's why we teach logic, right? <laughs> yeah, catch kids like you. Like, how far uh, can a dog run into the woods? Not far. Wait. Not far. As wow, far as what a good answer. Stop. How how far can a dog run into the into woods? Into the woods, yes, sir. Until it gets into the woods? I don't know. I can't understand. Halfway. Because then he's what? Oh. He's running out he's of the woods. <laughs> Does that, that makes sense. Point. I was stumped that on that sense. one. Man, I can't do this. So you, <laughs> so you guys, that's You're why. You're know. right now. <laughs> um, but geez, that, that's why I try. I love teaching math. I really did. And so my goal was to get kids' attention, right? And so I always wanted them to to um, never know what I was going to say or ask. <laughs> and it was always fun. So like the other, uh, and I only, I didn't only teach uh, geometry. I taught pretty much everything ex- except for calculus AB, but I taught AP statistics, algebra three, we had algebra three, uh, you know, college algebra taught um, algebra two, algebra one, and so financial math. And so it was, it was fun, but one of the other, my shtick, right? So I'd start every year with um, me and my dad 
know everything in the world. All knowledge mm -hmm. is contained with me and my dad. Now I tell the kids, you know, there's not another person in this building uh, as smart as me. And it was more just a joke and to get kids to be like, oh my gosh, like this guy. And I'd always have that kid that thought they were being really funny and they'd raise their hand and they'd say, okay, Mr. Gates, what's my grandma's birthday? And so I always had a very easy response and my dad knows that one. <laughs> and that's how I got out of it. And so, <laughs> you know, pretty easy. <laughs> But it's lame, right? But it's lame. <laughs> but then, you know, it was really good because kids laughed and, again, <laughs> reinforced the bad behavior. Uh, I would go home and share with my wife, and she would be very enthused. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Well, I think this was a great podcast episode. Yeah. And I think that we have the coaches show to do, and Mr. Gates has to get on with his very busy day that he took I do. I a got lot a, of time I got a board for meeting for the library. And so I'm on the board of directors for the city library, and we have a board meeting in three minutes. So I'm going to have to get out of here. But. If you catch Mr. Gates sprinting in the hallway, yeah, you know good. what happened. Um, it'll be good. So. But yeah, thanks for being here with us today. And we were wondering if you, instead of Fletcher, would like to do a sign off. Okay, so this is Run It Back, yep. Thursday to Thursday on Wednesday, even though we didn't did it Friday last week, correct? <laughs> so, um, do I do a song? Well, uh, we have a song we'll play, but if, if you want to say your la any last words. Oh, okay, la well, I, I hope they're not my last words. <laughs> um, last words on the podcast. Okay, okay yeah. well, I won't be, okay, so I'm taking the hint. I won't yeah. be invited <laughs> back. Be back. Um, on this specific back. episode of the podcast. Oh, this, okay, yes. logic and reasoning, right? Yeah. I'm built around logic and direct, so it's oh, very man. tough for me to process anything else. Um, so I'm going to sign off for this specific podcast <laughs> that I may be back in the future, and at that point, it may be more further words, but uh, these words are going to be, Thank you guys. This is going to be, uh, y'all, I, I appreciate you taking this on. I've been interested in podcasting for a while now and just finding some students that are willing to put the work and effort in. And while it may seem easy and we're just really hanging out, I know what, what type of effort puts into it. So thank you guys. And this is Run It Back, Thursday to Thursday on Wednesday. Last week was on Friday. And <laughs> we're going to keep you guessing next week. You never know. So. Cue the song. <laughs> Thank you.